Well, good morning. My name is Christine and I'm back talking about the caregiver's journey and how to take care of yourself while you take care of others. So today we're going to talk about making sure that you eat a well-balanced and healthy diet. Um, many of you know if you're a caregiver, sometimes you really don't have time to eat healthy or excuse me, it's a piece of hair on my face, to eat healthy or to um, eat a balanced diet. Especially if you're just starting out on this journey and you haven't really gotten a good flow yet, you're going to find that you're going to need to um, watch your diet. You know, uh, because either if you don't watch your diet, or the things that you take in, or the things that you eat or drink, you will start um, taking on health problems of your own if you don't already have them. So make sure you uh, watch how much caffeine you're consuming, how much sodium you're consuming, and that goes for you and your loved one, the one that you're taking care of, whether it be a child or adult. Make sure you monitor the amount of um, sodium. That's very important, especially if you take care of an elderly person. Excuse me. <laughs> I have to drink lots of water. So you want to make sure that you drink lots of water and you eat healthy. Eat your veggies, eat your fruits. Don't consume too much caffeine. I'm a coffee drinker. For all you coffee and tea drinkers, soda drinkers, make sure you don't consume a lot of caffeine. Oh, my God. Because, you know, that caffeine will have you going if, if you're like me. <laughs> caffeine is like a stimulant. So be careful. Make sure you uh, monitor your intake and your output as well as the ones that you're caring for. Because if the ones that you're caring for, especially if they're elderly and they don't have a bowel movement in over a week, that's a problem. Not a serious problem, maybe. Could be, but the problem is that you want to make sure that you um, monitor that. Well, you may have to give a stool softener or talk to the physician or nurse about it. So the whole point of this video today is taking care of the caregiver, taking care of yourself, monitoring your diet, taking care of the loved ones, the ones that you render care to, and monitoring their diet. Because diet is link, linked to health. You know, and emotional, you want to regulate your emotions and all that stuff, which is linked to stress. You, you know, you want to regulate all that stuff. So make sure you sit down and have a well-balanced meal, even if it's just a salad and soup or something. And drink lots of fluids. Mm. I love coffee. Whew. I'm, I'll admit it. But I also love lots of water. So, take care of yourself. Go to the doctor. Monitor your blood pressure. Especially if you're getting anywhere over 40 or you know 50. Make sure you take care of yourself. Take your supplements, your vitamins. I take supplements, and I'm so grateful. So grateful uh, for the, the uh, extra nourishment because those supplements, um, they help. But make sure you're taking healthy supplements. Don't buy any dollar store or real cheap, cheap, because uh, like someone was saying, the FDA don't does not, excuse me, does not monitor um uh, Sub vitamins, so you have to be careful what you're taking. Make sure you read the labels, make sure uh, it's organic or natural, and make sure it's not too cheap because the cheap ones it could be anything in there a bunch of synthetic mess. But anyway, I'm not a physician, even though my uh, YouTube channel is Dr. Christine Renee. Uh, the doctor that I hold is in ministry and. Um, it's it's a blessing because ministry has taught me how to be a servant, how to be a servant leader. Um, so I just wanted to share with you that. And as you being a caregiver, you yourself are a servant. <laughs> You're a servant. <laughs> you might not like that, but it's a good thing in the eyes of God. So keep serving your loved one. 
But make sure you serve yourself. Make sure you eat healthy. Make sure you uh, monitor your diet intentionally. Okay? Intentionally. <laughs> Take care of you. Because it's so easy to get run down. I couldn't believe I had gained so much weight. You could either lose a lot. At first, I was losing weight when I first started full time. You know, and I have been a caregiver before outside of just taking care of my mom. But when you're dedicated to a, a loved one or, you know, a loved one, and you're doing it 24-7, you know, you're doing it for a life, a lifestyle, a livelihood, not livelihood, a lifestyle to keep them alive. You got to survive to keep yourself alive. And, and it can be a job. It can be a livelihood because there are uh, benefits for some of you who have taken advantage of that. And that's good because it's a job. You still got bills to pay. You still got a life to live. So make sure you eat right. Make sure you do right. Mm. Nothing like good old water. I got a little uh, fruit juice in there. So, But anyway, I'm going to go. I want you guys to be blessed. I want you guys to be encouraged. I want you guys to eat a nice, healthy diet. Even if you take care of your loved one, you're a caregiver, but you still have a job outside of the house, make sure you don't stop and just get that McDonald's or the hamburgers or the uh, potato chips. I love chips. <laughs> I gave them up, though. I haven't had a lot of saltiness in a while. Uh, been eating some sweets, but we have to cut back on those, too. But anyway, take care of yourself. Intentionally seek out your diet. Even if you have to journal every day and um, what you're eating and what you need to get rid of. I intentionally checked off I need to get rid of sugar and salt. So we're getting there. Take care of you guys. Oh my God. Take care of you. It's a journey. But you will get there. It's not a sprint. This caregiving lifestyle is a journey. So again, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.